Hello, my name is Benedict Tosu. Welcome to the sports segment here on Joy News Today. Well, it was all smiles as Ghanaian duo of Eric Tachu and Kelvin Kabu beat Monaco 2 1 uh, to increase uh, their chances of progressing to the next stage of the beach volleyball event at the ongoing Youth Olympic Games. Uh, Baba Tando, my colleague, is in Argentina covering the games and has more. Ghana started the game on a strong footing, winning the first set by 21 games to 14. However, loss of concentration and some communication blunders cost them the second set as Monaco won by 21 to 18. But the Ghanaians came back into the third set much stronger and were determined to right their wrongs and better their game plan to clinch a win from Monaco. That yielded some positive results as Eric Tachu and Kelvin Cabo combined beautifully to finish the third set with a score of 8. 18 games to five. Coach Moro Mumuni, who was relaxed all through the game, said hard work at training paid off. Actually, the first match, I can see that uh, the blocker was down. So after that match, I have to work on him. That's what we, I did from Sunday. Uh, uh, who is your blocker? Uh, the Chachu. Yeah, yeah. From Sunday, I work on him, but I think he has improved. And from today, to I work on him still for the uh, uh, Costa Rica match. I saw you sitting there. You, you were so calm, like, like you knew you had it. Like you knew, you knew it was a done deal. What, what was that? Yeah, I know, I know their, capa uh, their, their capability, so I know what they can do. So I'm expecting them to do what I taught them to do. Mm. Calvin Cabo was modest in celebration and would rather want Ghana to qualify to the next stage before the victory party, if any, begins. It's winning this match doesn't mean we've qualified, so there's more ahead. So after that, we can have the party. We, we built upon all that we couldn't do, and then we did it today. Even It wasn't too good as we expected today, but... All right, so that was Baba Tanda's report. Well, back home, Accra had to full chief executive officer Magnunan has promised to make the club more attractive. Now, in an exclusive interview on Asempa FM yesterday, uh, Noonan uh, noted how he's working around the clock to ensure how to full become attractive. I mean, the, the, the supporters, let, let me take it. The, the, the long term goal is to be prominent in Afri Africa again. I mean, that's. prominent the, in Africa again. The, the supporters won't accept anything, anything less. And in order to do that, you need to get your house in order first, which is what we've been doing in the short term, is getting our house in order slowly. In order. So I would say this year one is, uh, is doing that, getting our house in order. Year, and, and that's everything from um, you know, getting the right technical staff in place. Mm -hmm. Getting uh, Poberman um, up and up and running, to um, fi fixing things at the secretariat, bringing in new management staff, working closely with our supporters, really kind of you know making sure that we're ready to take the next step. And I think step two, year two, is doing what we have to do in Ghana competitively and getting um, you know the winning winning the league, winning an FA Cup, being comp being super competitive with a style that gets our supporters back into the stadium. And, and so year one is getting the pieces in place. Year two is being competitive on a, on, a, on a Ghana basis. And then years three through five, we need to get into that African tournament and start um, making some noise. And, and, and that's, that's the objective. I don't think our supporters will accept anything but that. All right, so join us at 2 on Sports Today for more on McNoon. And also, we have confirmation of the Black Stars and Kumasi Asantokotoko friendly after uh, the cancellation of the Africa Cup of Nations qualifier with Sierra Leone. I'm Benedict Tosu. Thanks for your company.